This next ghost video comes from another of my favourite channels, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. In the video, the ghost hunters conduct a paranormal investigation inside a haunted family home in Halstead, Essex. Apparently, several years ago, the previous owner of the property passed away under unknown circumstances inside and wasn't found for some time. Jeff starts off by interviewing the current owners, Jackie and Clive, who mention that they have been victims of a terrifying haunting for a while now. Clive explains that most of the activity he's encountered has occurred in their bedroom. Oftentimes, he'd be awoken by a feeling of something climbing onto his bed and the feeling that someone or something is watching watching him, but he's always too frightened to move. What's more is that both Jackie and Clive often hear the sounds of someone walking up and down the stairs of their home. Jeff then interviews former tenant Natalie, who mentions that when she lived in the property, she witnessed terrifying paranormal activity as well. Her daughter's teddies would fall off the shelves on their own, shadow figures were regularly seen, and she even saw a pair of bodiless legs mysteriously wander into the kitchen. Ghost Tech Paranormal Normal investigations set up their equipment around the property, including static night vision cameras placed in each area where paranormal activity has occurred. The ghost hunters start their paranormal investigation by calling out to the entity that's been tormenting Jackie, Clive and former tenant Natalie. And not long into their investigation, they capture this. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go downstairs. And you gather as much energy as you can. You take it from the equipment if you like. And then we want you to do something. Something loud. Okay? And then perhaps you'd like to come downstairs and I'll tell you a story because you and me, we're a little bit alike, and I'll tell you why, when you join us in a little while. But don't be afraid of us or anything like that. Okay? But don't be afraid of us or anything like that. Okay? But don't be afraid of us or anything like that. Okay? And it, it, you're going to need to try and communicate with us somehow, Kevin, because otherwise I'm just going to ask questions and I won't know whether I'm, you know, communicating with you and you're you're happy or whether I'm you know annoying you which I, I don't want to do movement on the stairs okay as Jeff is calling out inside the haunted house, the voice of someone can be heard saying, help. Then, the sound of movement from the stairs is heard. Phil and Jeff decide to check it out, but no one's there, or so they thought. Right at the time when Jeff heard movement coming from the stairs, their static camera captured this. And it, it, you're gonna need to try and communicate with us somehow, Kevin, because otherwise I'm just gonna ask questions and I won't know whether I'm you know, com communicating with you and you're you're happy or whether I'm, you know, annoying you, which I, I don't want to do. Movement on the stairs. Okay.
captured on Ghost Tech paranormal investigation static night vision camera pointing towards the stairs. A dark shadowy apparition can be seen taking form on the stairs before it appears to disappear through a solid wall. Ghost Tech paranormal investigations claim that this dark figure appearing on the stairs is quote, the best footage of a spirit forming and moving into a solid wall that they've ever seen. And their viewers agree. But what do you think? Did these ghost hunters capture paranormal activity on camera inside this haunted house? You tell me. No matter how quaint a cemetery looks, there's a possibility of a ghost lurking somewhere, even during the day. This next video, uploaded to the account Vault of Fear, is titled Graveyard Ghost Caught on Tape, Paranormal Entity Filmed in Cemetery. Vault of Fear mentions in the description of the video that an old warehouse is located near the cemetery where the video was recorded. Apparently, an exorcist was called to this warehouse a few years ago to remove a demon that was causing poltergeist activity. This activity created a frightening atmosphere that filled the workers with dread, leading many of them to refuse to work at night out of fear of a ghostly encounter. In the video, a team of ghost hunters film the graveyard located next to the haunted warehouse and capture this on camera. <gasps> oh. Do you see it? Do you see it? As the camera pans around the cemetery, the person holding it notices something by the church. He gasps before zooming in and what looks like a ghostly figure of a woman can be seen standing by the door to the church. He asks, do you see it? Which the other people say, yes, they can. And the mysterious figure then vanishes into thin air. YouTube commenters seem divided on this video, with some believing it's real and some believing it's the opposite. But what do you think? I'm curious to hear your opinions in the comments. This next creepy clip comes from the TikTok account Parents Are People 2. Tyler's Ma recorded the following scary experience while watching TV alone in her bed. I'm watching a movie in here. And yes, my fan is on. That's why you see it blowing. But what the hell is that? Why is it wrinkling like that? Like somebody's pushing it. <laughs> Man, that looked like a face. Tomorrow, yeah. Captured on camera by Tyler's Ma, what looks like a pair of hands can be seen pushing through the curtain. Tyler's Ma sees them and goes over, but when she pulls the curtain away, no one's there. TikTok viewers were left creeped out by this video uploaded by Parents Are People Too, with many agreeing with user Carrie that instead of seeing hands, they can see different faces. Others suggest it could potentially be a ghost cat, but what do you think? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this one. Most people feel safe in the corridor outside their apartment building. However, even if your home is free from haunting spirits, it doesn't mean that the building itself isn't harboring something paranormal. In the dimly lit hallways and within the very walls that surround you, age old secrets may lay in wait, veiled in shadows and eager to be unearthed. That's what this person found when he stepped out of his apartment. Captured on the man's CCTV camera outside his apartment door, a mysterious dark, headless figure can be seen walking at the end of the corridor. The dark figure then slowly disappears without a trace. The man locking his door didn't even notice it, but it seems as though he either felt something or noticed something out of the corner of his eye as he glances in the direction of where the figure was seen. 
TikTok users have been left creeped out by this TikTok video which was uploaded on the 27th of March to the account Hard to Ghetto. Some users believe this to be a demon, however, others argue that it's simply a clever edit. But what do you think? Let me know down below. This next ghost video comes from the paranormal investigation channel Dark Arts TV Extra. Carl ventures out to the Brinksway Tunnels located in Stockport, England. The tunnels were built in the late 1930s and used as a bomb shelter during World War II. Just one year after the tunnels were completed, Stockport suffered heavy bombings. Many people had to run down to the tunnels to survive. In the video, Carl embarks on a lone exploration of these tunnels, or at least he thought he was. Yo, oh, this is very, this is eerie. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, see what, see where we go to. I know this is probably not a wise idea that I'm walking up on my own and stuff, but I don't know. It's all blocked off again. Right, I definitely can't hear anyone now. Right. What the f is that? Hello? Hello? Just as I was approaching the corner, I had an overwhelming feeling as if I wasn't alone. As I turned the corner, I could see what I thought to be a silhouette moving up the tunnel. On review, we can clearly see what seems to be a black figure with a yellow outline. We believe that this is possibly a spirit. Let us know what your thoughts are on this. This is weird. Right, I'm literally on my own in these tunnels. This is really weird because I've just let you come around the corner and no joking, I think I might have seen like a silhouette or something. As Carl peers round a corner, a silhouette of someone or something quickly appears at the end of the tunnel before it disappears into nothingness. Carl says that this is quote, real paranormal evidence, ghosts captured on camera, in secret, haunted underground. And his viewers believe this to be the case. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Let me know. This strange clip was posted to the TikTok account Simple Life with Sue and has left viewers scratching their heads. Scott says that every couple of nights, a mysterious ghostly figure appears in his driveway and just stands there all night. On the 20th of May, Scott uploaded a video showing the quote, ghost in his driveway. However, TikTok viewers were rather skeptical to say the least. Scott, convinced that a ghost keeps appearing on his driveway, uploaded a video taken two nights later to prove the legitimacy of his claims to skeptics. Driveway ghost is back. I'm gonna go walk through it. Here, hold this over here. So it's always fools. It's not a the local f crackhead. Keep it like a keep it where you can see it without no, without no fucking crap.
Captured on Scott's CCTV camera, a mysterious ghostly figure can be seen. Scott decides this would be the perfect opportunity to show skeptics that whatever this is, is no human. So, while someone films the monitor, Scott walks out toward it. He doesn't seem afraid as he walks right through the silhouette, proving he's not a material being. So what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera as Scott claims? You tell me. This next creepy video comes from the Spanish ghost hunting channel, Chriselle Luna, where she visits an old abandoned and supposedly haunted farmhouse late at night. For the first part of the video, Chriselle and her friend explore the old house where they hear some strange and creepy noises. However, at around 14 minutes into the video, when they're investigating the garage area, they see something which sends shivers down their spines. Okay, eh... Acabamos de hacer una oración por todas estas almas o por la entidad que se encuentra aquí porque hemos sido testigo y es muy, muy impactante lo que hemos vivido dentro de este sitio donde sé que hay almas en pena o probablemente solo una que está aquí y que es la que se ha manifestado. Esta oración fue para ti y para todas las demás entidades que se encuentran aquí. Yo creo que es momento de retirarnos porque... ¡Ay, no mames, no mames, no mames! Ven. ¡Ay, güey! ¡No mames, subí algo! ¡Vamos, ven! ¡Ven, ven, ven! Algo se asomó aquí. ¡Ven, por favor, por favor, algo! ¡Córrele, córrele, córrele! ¡Ay! ¡Ay! ¡No mames! ¿Qué hay aquí? ¡Córrele, Meli, ven! ¡Ay, no mames! Es que yo aquí vi que se asomó algo, te lo juro. ¡Ay, quién anda aquí? ¿Quién anda aquí? Yo ya... Ya no sé. De verdad... As the camera pans around, a mysterious dark shadowy figure can be seen peeking up out of the truck before he quickly ducks back down. Chriselle sees it and rushes over to it, but the figure is nowhere to be seen. Chriselle says that this creepy encounter at this abandoned farmhouse was quote, the ghost woman, and her viewers believe this to be the case. But what do you think? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. The next ghost video comes from another Japanese ghost hunting channel, Gakuburu TV. Chibitama heads out alone to the ruined Hongakuji temple, which is rumoured to be incredibly haunted. In the video, Chibitama explores the old ruined temple's main building, where he hears a lot of strange noises. Then, later on, he decides to make his way down a wooded path to another part of the ruined temple. He sets up a static camera and takes a look around. Not long later, a woman's voice can be heard singing, all alone and creeped out. Chibitama decides to cut the investigation there, but as he's leaving, he encounters something which made his blood turn cold. Now, this is where I have to ask, did you spot it? As Chibitama closes the doors to the ruined temple, a pale white face can be seen peeking through the gap of the door. It stares right at Chibitama, who sees it before it disappears like it was never there. Gaku Baru TV's viewers were left creeped out by whatever this is seen peeking through the gap of the door. Viewers believe it to be a spirit of a woman who has been seen wandering the temple grounds late at night. But what do you think? Use the comments to share your thoughts. In the quiet expanses of Maine, a vacant trailer stands as the silent witness to secrets held within its walls. An unassuming photo, captured in the dimly lit hallway of this very trailer, has set the online community a buzz. The photo was meant to be ordinary, just another snapshot in time. Yet, lurking within, it revealed an unexpected and chilling guest. 
while the photographer was accompanied only by her son, who, along with her friend, was working outside. The photo seems to suggest they weren't truly alone. Captured in a photograph, a shadowy figure appears to have been caught on camera. The dark figure seems to be tall and slim in build, and many Redditors have drawn chilling comparisons to the mythical Slender Man. But what's your verdict? Is this a genuine shadow figure, the infamous Slender Man, or something else entirely? Let me know down below. Police cruiser dash cams capture a lot of strange things, but this one caught something on a dark road that even confused a police officer on patrol in his car. As the police are driving down the dark road, the headlights catch a misty apparition that seems to appear right as the car gets close to it. Too late to stop, the officer drives straight through it, but he definitely saw it. The officer immediately turns around to see what it could have been, and then sees this. As the car turns around, some sort of apparition-like thing can be seen in the distance moving across the road. The title of this video is Ghost Caught on Camera Police Dash Cam and viewers believe this to be true. But what do you think? Did this police officer capture a ghost on camera while out on patrol? You tell me. Sarita Sarita is a game that is often played by school children in certain South American countries. Similar in concept to the Charlie Charlie and Bloody Mary games, Sarita Sarita involves invoking what is believed to be a vengeful spirit or entity by arranging two coins in a specific manner. The game's name and the legends associated with it may vary depending on the region, but the core concept remains consistent across different areas. Participants typically ask questions and seek answers from the entity they believe they are communicating with. Like the Charlie Charlie game, which involves balancing pencils to receive answers, the Bloody Mary game, which involves chanting a name in front of a mirror, Sarita Sarita, is considered by some to be a form of spirit summoning. But it carries a risk. Some say, if you play Sarita Sarita, the entity you've called will attach itself to you forever and slowly drive you mad. Lupus Gamer, a popular South American YouTuber, and her daughter Regina decide to play it anyway. And this is what happened. Bueno, vamos a decir. Una, dos, tres. Sarita, Sarita, ¿podemos entrar al juego? No. No. Otra vez. Sarita, Sarita, ¿podemos entrar al juego? Sí. 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 The pair start the game, but the coins first show a no. They ask one more time, and a yes means the game has now begun. But straight away, a loud noise in the house frightens both of them. Still, they decide to continue, asking questions about whether her husband is unfaithful or if any of Regina's schoolmates envy her. And it wasn't long before they realised they'd made a terrifying mistake. As Regina asks her question, a hand of someone or something appears behind Regina's shoulder. The pair panic and turn the lights on, but they find no one. Lupus Gamer's viewers were left horrified by this creepy hand appearing to reach out and touch her daughter Regina's shoulder, with many saying that she should never have played the Sarita Sarita game and that they are now cursed. But what do you think happened here? Comment and let me know what you think. 
Nestled in Carson City, the historic Nevada State Prison has stood since 1862, bearing witness to countless tales of the living and, as some say, the spirits of the departed. From ghostly apparitions to unexplained sounds echoing through its long abandoned halls, this prison's reputation has piqued the curiosity of many. Venturing into its mysterious depths, Ghost Vex's paranormal sought answers. Here's what they uncovered. Can you make a noise for me? Let me know where you are. Let me know where you are. Do you want to see what I'm seeing right now? This is with night vision on. That's what I see right now. All right, I'm gonna head back. While walking down the corridors in total darkness, a voice can be heard saying, get out. Then, at the end of the corridor, a white apparition appears before quickly disappearing out of sight. YouTube viewers have been left amazed at this capture, with many believing it to be a genuine ghost caught on camera. But what do you think? Was this the ghostly spirit of an inmate caught on camera, or just a trick of the light? You tell me. The next ghost video comes from the YouTube channel Franco TV. Frank, the fearless explorer, sets off on a solo mission into the eerie quiet of the night. His destination, an ancient abandoned monastery believed to be teeming with paranormal activity. As Frank ventures deep into the shadows of the monastery, he soon realizes that he might not be alone as he initially thought. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. I just made it to this crazy location. I did a What the hell was that? I am freaking out right now. What the hell is that? Look at what I found. I'm right now outside and this place is horrifying. What the hell is that? I legit thought somebody was peeking out at me there. I was like, that's horrifying. Terrifying noises can be heard coming from the darkness surrounding Frank. He reaches the monastery and the eerie sounds continue echoing from the shadows. Ten minutes into the video, whatever is hiding in the darkness making those noises decides to show itself. This is horrifying. I'm gonna try to keep this camera as still as I can. You see it? What the hell is that? It's big. There's more than just one. Moving up and down 
um, like something was watching me and then kind of hiding under and there was another one behind it. I don't know what that was. Whatever it is, I feel safer in here. The eerie sounds continued to be heard. Frank points his camera towards the railings to try and see what could be making those noises. And then several pairs of glowing eyes can be seen just watching Frank from the darkness. Terrified by what he's seeing, Frank flees inside to where he feels safer. Frank's viewers were on the edge of their seats while watching this video, with many wondering just what on earth were those eyes watching Frank from the shadows. Frank says that quote, something demonic was waiting for him outside. But now, I turn the question to you. What do you think these unnerving eyes could be? Is this a demonic presence as Frank says? Or could it be something else entirely? You tell me. This next creepy video comes from the Japanese ghost channel, Fourth Wall. The video you're about to see is video camera footage taken by a videographer known as S when he visited a supposedly haunted building. Videographer S sent Fourth Wall several folders and files containing several videos where he documents his exploration inside haunted houses. Some of these videos I've featured before. While browsing S's files, the Fourth Wall team realized there was a video with missing data attached to it. One day, the fourth wall team accidentally stumbled across an invisible file containing the missing data. The team realized this video was taken at a place that videographer S said, quote, never go there. This is the footage S recorded. As S is inspecting a shelf, a small statue falls off and crashes onto the floor right next to him. S picks it up and puts it back, not realising what was coming next. He explores the old building, where he hears knocking and bangs coming from somewhere. He walks around, but can't find where the sounds are coming from. Then at around 9 minutes into the video, he captures this. As the camera pans round, a mysterious child-sized shadow can be seen standing by the door. S then makes his way through the top floor of the building and gets the fright of his life.
S tries all the doors on the upstairs floor, but they're all locked. Then, as S is walking away, the closest door swings open, mysteriously all on its own. S goes inside and finds nothing except a strange connected room with a chair right in the middle of it. Then, while he's investigating, the door slams shut right behind him. He panics, but there's no way out. The door is somehow locked. S is terrified, but then the door mysteriously unlocks. He flees in absolute fear. However, as he's leaving, well, did you catch it? As S is fleeing for his life down the stairs, a mysterious dark figure can be seen peeking out from the room S was just locked in. But who is it? This spine-chilling video caught by S has left YouTube viewers frozen in horror. Many suggest that S inadvertently crossed paths with a dark entity that haunts this forsaken building. Could it be that this ominous place is not as abandoned as it seems? Is a demonic presence lurking in its eerie shadows? watching, waiting, or is there another explanation for the chilling occurrences that have been captured on film? I leave the verdict in your hands. The final video for today comes from the YouTube channel Uncharted Travel. Brennan ventures out to an old abandoned mining settlement known as the Headley Mascot Gold Mine, located in the Samilkameen region of southern British Columbia. The location is so far out in the middle of nowhere that Brennan has to take a plane, rent a car, head off road, and then hike up a dangerous mountain to reach his destination. The Headley Mascot Gold Mine, perched on Nickel Plate Mountain, was once the pride of southern British Columbia in the late 19th century. As it yielded vast gold treasures, it also bore dark tales of peril. Notorious for treacherous conditions, many miners met their end within its depths, leading to legends of lost miners, spirits trapped in its cavernous tunnels. Despite its riches, eerie disturbances and unexplained disappearances forced its closure in the mid-20th century. Today, it stands as a haunting testament to ambition and mystery. Finding shelter within an old structure, Brennan sets out his tent and places motion sensors, thinking they'll offer some semblance of security. But as night falls, those very sensors turn his night into a haunting ordeal. He grabs his camera, turns on his torch, and heads out into the dark. Of course, now that I go to investigate, I don't hear anything. Sounds like maybe an animal. I can't say for certain though.
that was a rat. But what was over here? Brennan hears noises coming from another part of the abandoned building as he's climbing the basement stairs. Something can be heard moving down there in the darkness. Brennan continues down, brushing it off as just an animal. And then, as he's entering the basement, the sound of scratching on the wooden structure can be heard. Brennan enters with caution, and then a loud sound resonates from the darkness behind him. He spins around, but no one's there. Brennan is then alerted to his motion sensor are triggering upstairs and fed up of being spooked Brennan decides it would be best just to go to sleep. However, just as he dozes off, the motion sensor directly outside his tent triggers. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. That's like the third time the motion sensor outside has gone off. Okay, I'm gonna go check it out. But I have the motion sensor set right there. You can see it's going off because I'm here now. was setting it off earlier maybe there's I don't know okay I'm gonna move it inside in case it's like a squirrel or something but I have it pointed at our two doors here so it won't be much of a warning anymore but at least I'll be up if somebody tries to creepily open the door the motion sensor outside Brennan's tent triggers not once, not twice, but three times, indicating that something is definitely just a few feet away from him. Brennan gets up to check, but doesn't find anyone. He then heads back to his tent and tries to get some rest. However, a short time later, he's awoken again. I haven't gotten much sleep at all. I've been listening to this I just have podcasts in my ear just to kind of like drone out some of the noise, but it just makes... Okay, that... I think we need to go investigate that because I know I closed all the doors, so that concerns me a little, hearing a slam like that. All of these doors are closed. Well, except for this one, but this one's not budging. As you can see, it's like stuck there. It'd take a lot to move these ones. But it sounded like it was one of these doors. That's so bizarre, they're all closed. Like, It just keeps getting weirder and weirder. As Brennan is explaining he can't sleep, a loud bang, which sounded like a door slamming shut, can be heard nearby. Convinced he closed all the doors prior to bedding down for the night, Brennan goes to check, and bizarrely, all the doors are still secure. So what made that sound? And just who or what? was lurking outside Brennan's tent. YouTube viewers were left scared to go to sleep after watching this creepy video uploaded to the channel, Uncharted Travel, back in October 2022, with many believing that Brennan captured real paranormal activity while solo camping in this old abandoned mining settlement. But what do you think happened here? Use the comments to share your thoughts.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.